Hey y'all, happy Thursday. Uh, so today is July 19th. I'm on my way to run a few errands for our business. But earlier today, I finally got around to uh, filming my YSL Lulu handbag review. So I'm hoping to be able to edit that today. Might be pushing it um, because I'll have Chloe this afternoon and I need to do some other stuff around the house too. But hopefully I can get it edited by tomorrow at the latest uh, so that way it can be posted by either tomorrow or Saturday or whatever. So um, that is the plan. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. I know I've been promising it for a long time, but you know, life. <laughs> So yeah, I'm on my way to run a few errands for the business. I gotta go to one of our studios, which of course is the one that's farthest away. Um, so I'm driving there now. And then after I run those couple errands that I need to do, then I'll go pick up Chloe from school. So right now it's what, like almost 11 a.m. in the morning. I would have ran these errands earlier, but one of them involves me going to a store that doesn't even open until 11. So, it is what it is. So, hopefully I can get these errands done pretty quickly because I like to pick up Chloe by no later than 12.30. I have until 1, technically, to pick her up, but I usually try to pick her up around 12.15, 12.30 because she's, like, exhausted when I get there. And the other kids are taking naps and I or starting to get ready or laying down for naps. And I don't like to walk in and make all that commotion when they're trying to go to sleep. I'm sure that's, you know, taking away from their nap time. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, what else? Oh, I remember. I also wanted to chit-chat with y'all about um, intermittent fasting and what you guys think about it. I recently saw one of Makeup Shayla's videos the other day and she was talking about, she was doing the keto diet and she's doing intermittent fasting as well and she looks good. I mean, to me, she always had like a nice shape and all, but when she showed those before and after pictures, it's amazing, um, you know, how much how much difference you can see. Now, she, she seems to be really disciplined and planning on making this like a life a lifetime thing she says so <laughs> kudos to her <laughs> but anyway it just made me kind of think about you know what is intermittent fasting what do people think about that I haven't really researched it at all yet um, the little bit I have seen about it um, I don't know I haven't really looked at it enough to form any major opinions about it one of my friends actually is doing intermittent fasting right now uh, but she just started so I need to check with her and see if she's lost any weight um, so yeah intermittent fasting if you don't know what it is I'm sure y'all have heard of it at least but most people do like an 8 hour eating window and then 16 hours of fast so most people do their 8 hour window like in the day and the 16 hours of fasting includes overnight um, so yeah um, but yeah, I recently watched that video and then today I kind of thought more about it and figured I should chat with y'all about it because it is 11 a.m. I actually haven't eaten anything yet today. I did have coffee, so I don't know if that, you know, counts because like I said, I haven't done no research on this. Um, but I did have coffee and that's it. So... I didn't really do this on purpose, it's just that when I woke up this morning, I didn't feel like eating breakfast, and so I didn't, and so here we are. But generally, when I wake up, I usually get up around 5.30 in the morning. I usually eat breakfast right after I wake up, so at like 5.30, 6 a.m. in the morning. So usually I'm eating lunch around like 11.30 in the morning, which I know is early, but for me it's not because I've been up since 5.30, and since I've been on this weight loss journey... I don't really eat a snack between breakfast and lunch. So I have breakfast at like 5.30, 6 in the morning. And then I eat lunch around 11.30, 12 noon. So, um, yeah, so for me, I don't know. I just was not hungry today. And then once I took my medicine, that kind of helps control my appetite. I'm still really not hungry. So i just been drinking water and I had the coffee early, early this morning. And yeah. 
anyway, I just want to figure out, or I just want to hear what y'all think about it, because I know a lot of you guys are on weight loss journeys as well, and a lot of you have left really good comments. So I'm figuring you guys can share with the community what you think about intermittent fasting and if you do it or if you do it like a couple days a week and yeah just share with everybody else here so that's it I am going to go ahead and turn this camera off because I am almost at my studio and maybe I'll see y'all later on today bye Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So, I just got a few packages from Amazon. So I figured I would open them up with you guys because they're all for me. So I figured I would share it with you guys. Sorry if I look crazy, but I just woke up from a nap. My kids are still down, so I wanna go ahead and open the stuff before they wake up. So, first up is this. Um, this is a, a UV lamp for doing gel manicures. So I decided I'm going to do my own gel manicures at home. So I needed to order some stuff for it. So this is the UV lamp. And um, I'll link all this stuff down below just in case you guys are interested. I know it's hard to find exactly what you're looking for on Amazon. But I also ordered a base and top coat. And the brand <clears throat> that I picked up is Amelie. Um, but this is the top coat and then the base coat looks just like this. Um, so it got good ratings. Other than that, I had really never heard of this brand. I think I saw one other person on YouTube like a while ago say they got this brand, but it came up pretty high in the search results and it had good reviews. So I just ordered it and it wasn't expensive. So. Okay. And then on the same note, I ordered a set of um, nail polishes gel nail polishes and they didn't come in a box or, well you know they came in a package like this I thought they would come in a box because they were a set but they didn't so I'll just show you all four um, this is by the brand Elite 99 and this is what it looks like and so it came with four nude nudish colors I guess and it also came up with some uh, nail wipes I don't know I think they're just the wipes to do like after you're done if I remember correctly so I'll just pull out all four colors and show them to y'all real quick so there's one that's shade 06 Shade 017. Shade 06. Shade 08. I'm sorry. 800. So I really didn't want a lot of polish i just wanted like a couple nudes to try it out with but most of the stuff on amazon um the nail polish is anywhere in sets so i figured that if this works out then i can always go buy gel nail polish at my local um ulta or wherever okay, and then the last two items are food related this is the guac lock <laughs> I saw this a long time ago and I thought it was thought it was a silly idea. But now that I'm eating more avocado and and guacamole, I decided to go ahead and try it. It's supposed to keep your uh, guacamole safe. I mean airtight so that it doesn't brown. So if y'all are guacamole eaters, then I'm sure you know a lot of guacamole will brown like the same day or next day. So I end up wasting it because I'm the only person in my house that eats it. Um, so I decided to try this. I have to see how it works. Amazon was the cheapest place I saw it. And I think it was like $16, which just me, to me is still a lot for this kind of thing. But I could not find anything that seemed similar. Um, basically, you put it in and then I think you can push out the air. Yeah, so the base, 
the, it's going to be hard to see on this box, but the base raises up to help push all the air. Uh, and that's what keeps it so fresh. So we shall see. And the last item I have been debating getting, but I decided to go ahead and try it. This is a food scale. And I wanted this just because a lot of times it's hard to figure out how much you're eating. Um, especially if it's not like packaged food and you can overeat and I do try to track my food so I figure something like this is not too big of an investment I think this is only like between like 12 and 17 dollars um, and it's battery operated and it's small enough that I can take it on and off the counter when I need to use it I'm not gonna leave it out <clears throat> but um yeah so I'm hoping I start using this just to make make sure I'm um, correctly you know eating how much I want to eat because I think a lot of us overeat not even realize that you know this is what it looks like so it actually it looks pretty nice for it to be such a cheap one <laughs> so hopefully it works well all the reviews said that it was really really accurate and all that so and I like the fact that it was battery up right now I don't have to plug it in so that is it I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away and maybe try to get a little bit of a snack before the kids wake up. Hope y'all are having a great Sunday. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hey y'all. Happy Tuesday. I just wanted to come on real quick because I picked up a couple things today and it's nothing big. Let me know if y'all get tired of my little... What's the matter? She doesn't like when I'm talking and I'm not talking to her. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so um, let me. What's the matter? You want more? More? Okay, just a second. Okay, so she was sitting down eating her snack, so I just gave her a little bit more. So, what I was saying is, let me know if y'all get tired of these little mini hauls that I do. I, I like to share this stuff because I like seeing like random everyday things that people pick up. But if y'all don't like them, then maybe I'll cut them down some because I know I do randomly shop a lot even if it's not like expensive stuff i kind of do randomly shop so yeah anyway i'm going to show you this stuff today i was actually on a mission for some um i needed some dumbbells i wanted like i used to have like some five pound dumbbells i have heavier ones but i want i wanted the five pound ones but for some reason i can't find them maybe we got rid of them i don't know but um so i needed some dumbbells so usually like Marshalls and TJ Maxx has them for cheap and they have the kind that are not like just all metal. So I went to those places and of course I found other stuff. So first up was Ross and I went there because I needed to go pick up my ring today from the jeweler. Um, we just got it like cleaned and touched up. Um, so yeah, it's now back looking shiny and all again. <clears throat> but um, when I got there, it was... A little bit before the jeweler opened so I decided to check out Ross and see if they had any of the dumbbells I was looking for they didn't but I picked up some stuff for Noah that I wanted to show y'all first up is these Crocs and I couldn't believe I saw these there they were only $12.99 I think Crocs usually are about $30 so I bought these in a size it says 8 9 on the back and Noah wears a 9 he needs some more like water type shoes um, so hopefully these will work for him. He's not home yet. Um, my husband went to go pick him up, so I'll try them on him tonight. But I just thought that was a really good deal. I bought him some other shoes that were just too cute for me to pass up. Look at these little Converse. They're camouflage. They're so cute and little. So, um, I also picked these up in a size 9. And uh, I think these should definitely work for him. Converse is, runs a little bit big, but right now he's wearing a size nine and his foot is right at the edge. So like in Nikes, now he's up to a size 10. Um, and it seems like he just grew out of some of his shoes like last week. So <laughs> so um, Nikes, is a size, he's a size 10, but Converse, I bought in a size nine because I think in previous experience, I've always had to size down in Converse. So that's that. And then I saw this little shirt, um, just says awesomeness, it's a Nike shirt, this was only $5.99. And then he needs kind of like more like sweatpants and stuff. He has a lot of shorts, but not that many pants. 
um, mainly because he tears holes in his pants all the time. Um, he, if you have, if you know any kids with like sensory issues who may be on the spectrum or whatever, they, um, a lot of them may do things like for that sensory sensation. So he drops to his knees quite often. And when he used to see an occupational therapist, they were working on it with him. But right now that's pause. He'll be going back to the occupational therapist in August. But because he jumps on his knees, drops on his knees so much, he ruins all of his pants, like all of them. So I got him some of these. And these are the Nike or, you know, Nike or Jordan, I guess. But he used to have some plain Nike ones like this before that held up pretty, pretty well. So I saw these and I thought they were cute because they had the little jogger bottom, which is what I prefer. I feel like they just look better than the loose bottom. Um, so I got him those. And then I got, these were only $9.99. says the regular price. The sticker on here says $35 for the regular price. So this was a really good deal. I almost picked them up two pair, but... I'll see how they go first. And then I bought him this shirt to go with it. And it's just, um, it was $6.99. But it just has air on the front and then Jordan on the back. Not that he even knows who Jordan is, but I thought that would be a nice little outfit. And then I picked him up some Puma socks. Um, he needed some more low cut socks. So got him some of those. And then I saw these pants that I really liked for him. These are made by... DKNY, and I just thought they were cute with the um, like moto detail there. Oh, I just noticed on the back it has DKNY, which I'm not a huge fan of that, but it's fine. But these were only $9.99 as well, and these retail for only $18 before, but I just thought these were really cute. All right, so that was it from Ross, and then from Marshall's. I did find my dumbbells, and then I picked up a couple of things for the kids. Um, actually, the only clothes I have here are these pajamas for Noah. And I like him in long sleeve pants pajamas. So this was only $12.99 for two pairs. I picked them up. I also picked them up like a book and a um, Minnie Mouse for Chloe, but that's already put away. So that's that. Um, I do have a couple of things for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. But one of my orders hasn't gotten here yet. Uh, I guess I'll just tell you about what I got because it's not much. So first up is this t-shirt. And this is by... Make and Model. I picked it up in a size medium. And I just really like this color and like this burnout um, top looking thing. I don't know how much this costs. But I will try to link it below. Um, I know myself, personally, I'm kind of hearing tired of hearing about the Norseman anniversary sale. <laughs> but um, I only picked up a couple things. That's the only reason I'm even showing y'all. But I'll link it down below if you're interested. I do really like the shirt. I tried it on. And it fits well. And it'll still fit well once I lose a little bit more weight. So I'm happy about that. It doesn't look too big on me. So um, that's that. And then... I picked up the Barefoot Dreams blanket. I don't have it down here because I've already put it in my room. But today I took a little cat nap under it and it felt amazing. So I'm really happy that I picked it up. I actually wanted two of them. <laughs> but I was not about to spend that money. So I got the one that I'm picturing here. It's the gray and white one. And I'll link it down below. It, it, I think this one is sold out. Um, but they do have another color available. So check it out. It is very expensive. But it is huge like it's like size of my king size comforter huge so um and it feels really good quality hopefully it lasts a long time um what else did i get that was all i got from the nordstrom anniversary sale i did order some more of these but they were not on sale i just ordered a pair for my husband <laughs> um that's it i do have one more package coming in for my kids that'll be here i guess later this week uh, but honestly, I saw a lot of stuff that I could have purchased, but I just don't need to be spending all that money on stuff I don't need. Plus, I don't really need to be buying any clothes right now because I'm hoping to be losing weight. So I'm just not trying to spend a lot of money on clothes at the moment. Pretty much no money on clothes at the moment. And also, my birthday is coming up in September, and I'm going out of town. And I want to be able to shop while I'm out of town. So, you know. 
I can justify spending money on my kids, but I'm not really spending money on myself at the moment. So not much money anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess when their stuff comes in, it's just two pairs of shoes, one for each of them. But when they come in, I'll um, let y'all see what they look like. There was something else that I had in my cart, but then when I got ready to check out, it uh, went away. But they were some Adidas shoes that I really liked. But they sold out of my size, so that's life. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and um, cook this dinner and... I will talk to y'all later. Bye. It's really pretty in here. Isn't this really pretty? You love Minnie Mouse. You need to leave when they arrive. See them in the last cross. You saw them running over there. Oh, princess. You need when she arrives, huh? She needs to see her. Oh, my God. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Kanoa. Noah, say cheese. Noah, say cheese. Say cheese. Hey y'all, so I'm sorry, I know I look a mess, but anyway, I wanted to come on and show you my last couple of Nordstrom items that I got today. Uh, today is Saturday, July 29th, I think, 28th, I don't know, one of them days, <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just now getting the second part of my order. Now, I granted i did not order these like on the first day um that i ordered stuff but still i have to say with the Nordstrom sale this year i was quite disappointed um not because they didn't have a good selection of items but more so because the shipping took forever they sold out of things really really quickly they didn't restock as much as they have in previous years and yeah i'm in my laundry room so excuse the mess um sorry <laughs> but anyway so it's not horrible but I just think so many people have found out about the Nordstrom anniversary sale and are taking advantage of it and you see so much on social media about it um, that I just think that they got overwhelmed so like my first order I think I ordered it the second day of the pre-sale and I called them eight days after I ordered because I hadn't even gotten a shipping notice yet like that's never happened I'm used to getting my items during even during the sale time in about a week so and then my store it seems like they didn't have anything because like all the stuff I wanted was not available to pick up in store so it is what it is um, yeah kind of disappointed hope it's better next year anyway let me just show you the last two items I got both of my kids both shoes um, but I picked these up for Noah and this is the Converse black i think these are faux leather but i thought these were really cute and yeah i did get a size 10 and at the time when i ordered it i forgot that converse runs a little bit big so they're going to be too big for him now but i'm still going to keep them because they were only 25 dollars and he'll probably be in in them by like december or so his feet grow really fast and then the other item i got was for chloe got her some shoes look at these <laughs> these are the pink sparkly uggs that they had they had two pairs one i think was taller it was more expensive i think it was like 70 dollars or 60 dollars or something like that these were about like 30 something dollars so i thought these were super cute i was a little bit you know iffy about ordering them just because you know sizing she won't get a chance to wear these until probably november <laughs> here because it's just gonna be too hot 
Um, let me show y'all. It does have a fur interior, of course. Um, it's going to be too hot, so she probably won't get a chance to wear these until November. So I was a little bit worried that she might grow out of them. But I just followed my gut, and hopefully they work out. Um, I picked them up in the size 4, 5. So Uggs has, like, combination sizes. So their medium is a size 4, 5, and then uh, their large will be a size 6, 7. So I picked it up in the 4, 5. Just because right now she wears a four and her feet are really, really small for her age. She's kind of small for her age. And it's hard for me to find shoes. I've been on a hunt for like shoes for her lately, like real like tennis shoes. It's hard for me to find shoes for her that are not too big because like I said, she's probably about a four right now. Um, so that's not really normal for her age. <laughs> um, so I got this four or five hoping that you know, by the time November rolls around, she'll be able to fit into it. I am gonna compare it against one of her other little shoes. Let's see. So this is um, an Adidas shoe that I got not too long ago. So yeah, it's about the same size. The Adidas shoe is too big for her. I don't know though. It is about the same size. So I'm wondering if I should just, maybe I'll look and see if they have the large size. I don't know. See, now I'm kind of scared. I don't know. But they're really cute. I might see if they have a larger size. If they don't, then I probably am going to keep them. Because honestly, her feet grow extremely slow. Unless she has like a big girl spurt, she'll probably still be in this size shoe by the time November rolls around. Like I swear her feet have been the same size since like six months ago. At least. At the very least. So, yeah. That's that. That's all I ordered. The other thing I wanted to share with y'all real quick was my nails. I did polish my nails, one of my gel colors. Don't judge the manicure. This is my first time doing it. Um, but so far, so good. I like the way it looks. It stayed shiny. I did this on Wednesday, so it's been about three days. Um, but I do see some mistakes that I made just because, you know, I'm not a professional manicurist. So I have some ideas about what I'm going to do next time to kind of prevent that. Like, I didn't do a good job cleaning up around my edges and with gel polish um, it makes it more likely to peel if you don't get your edges really well plus I should have done like a full manicure like massage my uh, like all my cuticles and all that but I was being lazy um, so yeah next time I'm gonna do all of that but so far so good my hands are ashy right now <laughs> I just got done washing the dishes, so I didn't put any lotion on, but I do like it so far, so hopefully this works out for me. I'm hoping that this lasts me at least a week. Um, when I get gel manicures in a shop, it can last me about two weeks, but for me doing it myself, if it lasts a week, I'll be happy with it because then I'll just take it off, maybe do my nail strengthener for a few days, and then I can put it back on again, put a different color back on in gel. And I'm doing it myself, so I'm, it's not like I'm spending tons of money. Honestly, with the two-week time frame for gel nails, I usually get tired of the color before the two weeks is up anyway. So if this works out and I'm able to do them at my house, then that means I can change them when I want and it actually would be better for me. Just because, you know, for me, variety is the spice of life. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go. I just really wanted to come on, show y'all those quick little things, and close out this vlog. I feel like I've not been doing that great vlogging lately. Like, I, I was really busy this week, but I really didn't take y'all along with me much at all. So, I'm going to really try to do better this upcoming week. Let me know what kind of things y'all like seeing on vlogs. Do you like seeing, like, food stuff? Like, my food shopping now that I'm on this diet? Um... Are you tired of the little miniature hauls that I do? Do you want to see more of those? Do you want me to incorporate more beauty stuff? I have a couple beauty videos that I want to film. It's just, I don't know when I'm going to have a chance to, honestly, because for beauty videos, I feel like there's a couple things that go into play that kind of makes it take a lot of time for me. Number one is I want to look pretty if I do a beauty video. So that means I want to do my makeup. I have to set up my lighting and stuff and uh, and then actually film the video, edit the video, blase squase. But a lot of times, like, only, the, a lot of times when I have time to do that is at night, and I don't wanna film videos at night because I wanna spend time with my husband after my kids go to sleep or I work out or I need to eat or whatever. 
Um, so I would prefer to do them during the day, like when I'm off and my kids are maybe taking a nap, but sometimes it gets kind of like iffy because it's like if I spend 30 minutes getting ready and then it takes me at least about 30 minutes to film the video, I don't want to like them to wake up in the middle of me filming the video and then that was just wasted like preparation, you know, so I don't know. <clears throat> but I, I do have a couple things that I want to film for you guys. So anyway, just let me know what you guys like seeing and I'll try to incorporate more of that as long as it kind of fits into what I'm already doing. Um, or if there's anything different that you guys want to see, let me know and maybe it is something that I can show you guys or feel comfortable sharing. So. Yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I will see you in the next one. Bye.